In this video, I'll be explaining how to create a road using templates in Magnet Field and then looking at the cross section report data in Magnet Office. From the main screen of Magnet Field, we go into Job and then New Job. And we'll enter in a name for this new job and then we'll hit the Next button and then we ensure we're using the right GPS and optical configuration and then we hit the green tick. This will load our new job and we just want to ensure we're using the right coordinate system so we'll go into configure coord system and we'll define the correct projection datum and geoid to be used for this row job. Currently there is no data in this job and we will need to import our data. To do this we go into exchange from file. We want to bring all the data in so that will be a multiple data type and then the format will be DXF. The horizontal design data in this DXF file is related to this road 152 vertical profile that we can see. So using this plot we'll be getting the VPI design levels and also inserting vertical curves when required to create a vertical alignment in magnet field later on. Once the data type of multiple and format of DXF have been selected simply hit the next button and then we locate the file that we wish to import and then hit the green tick. The software will ask you to confirm the coordinate system to be used and then we simply hit the green tick we want to bring in all the data, this being points and lines, and the software has recognised that there is no data currently in the job and it will just ask for a starting point number and also a line number. And we can see here all the data that has been imported into the current job and then we simply hit home. Once the data has been imported, we will go into map to check that the data has been successfully imported. And we can see here if we click on it, that the direction of the road is actually in the wrong direction so we can hold down and go reverse direction and the direction of the string has been changed and we can hold down again and go into create road so we can enter in the name for this road of road 152 we can define a layer for this to go onto and we can insert a horizontal and vertical alignment name this horizontal alignment is defined by the DXF imported. The vertical alignment, we are just creating a delete alignment at this stage just to generate the road. And later on, we'll generate a new vertical alignment with the template cross sections made. We have a start chainage of 0 and a chainage interval of 10. And on the surface tab, we will be defining a cross section set later on in the video. Once you are happy with the road creation, you can simply hit the green tick and then we'll navigate back to the main screen by hitting home and then we need to go into edit roads to create the vertical templates. We'll quickly verify that the vertical and horizontal alignments have been created and then we'll go into templates. Once we're in the templates screen, we'll simply hit add in this video we're going to generate three templates. For the first template we'll give this a name relevant to the type of template being created. In this case we are creating a 3 meter road at a 3% crossfall up and the cut and fill slopes to be applied to the end of the template are 1 and 3. Then we hit the add button to create our first segment point from the center line. In this case it is called pavement at 3 meters horizontal with a 3% grade and then we hit the green tick and we can see that the cross section view is being populated as we create each segment. The next segment point will be box peg at a 600 mil offset with again a 3% grade and then hit the green tick and we'll add one more segment point called back peg and this will be a 0.6 horizontal offset with no vertical offset applied. And then we can simply hit the green tick to save our first template. We'll then go back into add and generate our second template. This again will be a 3 meter road at a 3% down crossfall. Again the slope 
ratio to be applied to the end of the template will be 1 in 3 for cut and fill and we simply hit the add button to generate our template. Notice the difference here with our pavement point. We still have a 3 meter horizontal offset but we are applying a minus 3 grade. We can see on the right hand cross section view the road is going down at a 3% cross fall. We'll put in our other two segment points. Once we have finished our template we'll hit the green tick and now we will create our third template. This third template is of a car bay that we'll be applying in the first section of the road. So we still have a 3 metre road at a 3% rise and the car bay will be a 2.5 metre extension at 2%. Still applying the same cut and fill ratio of 1 in 3 and we'll simply hit add to insert our first segment point. This again is applying 3 metre horizontal offset with a 3% grade and the second point will be the carb bay extension point which is at two and a half meters horizontal with a two percent grade and we insert our third point of a box peg at a horizontal distance of 600 mil with a grade of two percent and we add our final point of back peg at a horizontal offset of 0.6 meters with no vertical offset and once you are happy hit the green tick and we can see here we've finished creating our three templates once you are happy all three templates have been created simply hit the back arrow and then we'll go into vertical alignment and we want to add a vertical alignment we'll call this the relevant name of the road and we are going to create a station and elevation type it will ask for a starting elevation of the alignment once you have entered in the start elevation and change simply go up to the vertical tab and we will then go add and we're going to add a parabola so from the profile that you saw earlier in the video we are applying the VPI changes from the profile drawing with their appropriate elevation and apply a curve length if required all of these VPI changes, elevation and curve lengths need to be entered in manually from the drawing provided. In this example we have approximately 10 VPIs to enter and as we can see here we are slowly populating the list of parabolas to be applied to the vertical alignment. Once all parabolas have been entered we can simply hit the green tick and we'll hit back and we'll go into cross section. In cross section this is where we will be defining the cross section set or applying the templates to be used along the horizontal alignment and this will be used to compute a 3D surface for which you can use for stakeout. Once in the cross section screen we'll simply hit add. It will give this cross section set a name of road 152 and we'll hit add to define the cross section templates to be applied at certain changes along the road. So at change 15 we will apply the cross section template of up to the left hand side and the template of down to the right hand side and we can see that the cross section view has populated with the appropriate template on each side. We simply go back into add and then we'll enter in the next change. In this case, this is where we are starting the car bay. So on the left hand side, we are applying the car bay template, and on the right hand side, we're still using the down template. The software will automatically generate a transition between each template being applied. So we go to change 35 and we apply the car bay on the left hand side and down on the right. And this is where we are ending the car bay template. So for that 15 metre stretch of road, we are applying the car bay template on the left hand side. From change 40, we are going back to the up template on the left hand side and the down template on the right hand side. 
and if we go back into add we enter in the last chainage of the road so in between chainage 40 and 140 we will, there will be no transition applied because we are using the same template on the left and right hand side once you are happy hit the green tick and you can see on the right hand side in plan view the cross sections that are being applied and also we can see where we have entered in our car bay templates once you are happy with the cross section sets we can simply hit the back arrow and then we will go into roads and now we need to redefine the road using our new cross section set and vertical alignment created so when we get into roads we want to go to edit we will keep the same layer and the same horizontal alignment but we will apply the new vertical alignment and then a surface will apply the cross section set template and hit the green tick and we can go back into the vertical alignment and delete the delete alignment that was temporarily created just to create the road from the map view this concludes the applying of the templates created to the horizontal alignment from the DXF file from the main screen of magnet field you can go into stake and then stake road if you wish to stake out this newly created road once in the stake road screen you can hit the little page icon at the end of the road input and select the road that you wish to stake out in this case we're going to include the transition points once you are happy you can simply hit the next button in the stake alignment screen you can define the change that you wish to start on and also the interval and what segment point you are going to be staking out and this will also confirm you have selected the right cross-section template at that certain chainage if you are missing a segment point we'll just quickly show you the different views that you can use to stake out the newly created road by hitting stake once in the stake routine up the very top you can hit where it says stake map and you can select from data mode normal mode overhead mode map mode which is the most commonly used mode or cross section mode from here we'll simply hit the home button and navigate back to the main screen of magnet field from the main screen of magnet field we go into exchange to file we need to select the data type as roads and the format we are using is an RD3 format which is the TopCon format and we will simply hit next we will select the row that we wish to export and then hit next we'll navigate to a directory for this file to be saved and then hit the green tick and we can see three cross-section templates a set a horizontal vertical alignment have been exported and a road has been exported we can simply hit home and this concludes the magnet field road creation with templates section of the video the next section will be magnet office generating a cross-section report in this section of the video we'll be explaining how to use magnet office to generate a cross-section report from the exported road from magnet field from a blank job in magnet office we'll go into import we will navigate to the file location and ensure that the file type selected is correct otherwise the file will not be visible and we simply hit open it's recognized there's only an alignment and we simply hit OK we can see here that the the horizontal alignment from the DXF file has been imported along with the template strings that has been created and generated in magnet field we can see that the car bay template has successfully been applied to the 15 metre section of road from chainage 20 to 35 and the transition between 15 and 20 and 35 and 40. The template data has come through as strings by double clicking on a couple of the lines to verify it is a string. We now go up into the design tab and we want to generate cross sections from strings select the road name and hit OK we want the surface type to be a design 
and you can give this an appropriate surface name. We are starting from chainage zero, going all the way to the end of the road. We are applying a left and right offset of 20 meters for a filter and we are including the TPs at the half angle and we are generating cross sections at 10 meters on the straight and 5 meters on the curve. And once you are happy, simply hit next and we are not applying any additional changes and then simply hit OK. You will see in the survey view the cross sections that are being applied and as soon as you move on the screen this visual display will be removed. Once you have generated the cross sections we can go up into the roads package, highlight the road and then go open. Once in the roads package we can see the horizontal alignment cross section view and profile view. Note that the profile view extends up to chainage 400. This was because we had entered in the vertical curve data for the entire profile but the horizontal alignment only went to chainage 268. To generate a cross section report we need to click into the cross section section in the top right and we need to go to the cross section tab and we want to generate a cross section report and this cross section report will give you the chainage, offset, easting, northing, elevation and code and this will be used for QA, QC purposes to verify the templates being created and applied in the field are generating the right offset at each chainage with the appropriate EC northing and elevation. We can go up into file and save as and save out this cross section report as a PDF to an appropriate directory for any QA QC purposes. And once we've entered in the name simply hit save and we can go into our file explorer and open up this in a PDF format to verify all the data has come across. And this concludes the magnet office section of the video of how to generate a cross section report from the magnet field road generated with the templates applied.